A lot of Muslims have been giving me a lot of backlash because I said that I believe Jesus was crucified. Now, I don't have qualifications in early Christianity, New Testament studies, etc., etc. So, whatever I say is not going to carry much weight. But, somebody we all know and respect, Dr. Ehrman, does have qualifications and credentials when it comes to talking about the New Testament, uh, the historical Jesus, Christianity, etc., etc. So, he has the credentials. What does he say about the crucifixion? He says that Jesus was absolutely crucified. There is no way around this. Uh, but Ehrman, as you're going to hear, is an atheist. He doesn't believe in the supernatural. So if Ehrman doesn't believe in the supernatural, he's going to conclude Jesus died on the cross. But since Jews, Christians, and Muslims believe in the supernatural... They can't disprove my hypothesis that Allah kept Jesus alive throughout the crucifixion. Allah helped Jesus survive the crucifixion by supernatural intervention. Christians and Christians can't disprove my claim because they believe in the supernatural. They believe God was working through Jesus. So if God was working through Jesus, why can't God keep Jesus alive through the crucifixion? But anyways, I just want to repeat I just want to show what Ehrman actually says about Jesus' crucifixion. A world-renowned scholar, and he's not the only one. Ask any scholar on Christianity. doesn't matter if they're Christian or atheist. They will conclude and they will say that Jesus was crucified. There is no way around this if you're a Muslim. But this doesn't disprove the Quran chapter 4 verse 157. Because the Quran chapter 4 verse 157 says they didn't kill him nor did they crucify him. That means they didn't kill him before the crucifixion and they didn't uh, kill him by the method of crucifixion. <clears throat> For a further analysis of the Quran chapter 4 verse 157, uh, see what Shabir Ali says about it. So, you know, I agree with what Shabir Ali's analysis of the Quran chapter 4 verse 157. But, you know, that's, that's not the point of this video. The point is I'm going to show... I'm going to play a clip where Ehrman clearly says Jesus was crucified. So a world-renowned historian says there's no way around this. Jesus was crucified his historically. Uh, so let me, let me play this clip. Actually uh, crucified. I think on a historical basis, Jesus was absolutely crucified. I, I think that there is, uh, as a historian, there's there's almost no doubt about that. And in case, in case your audience doesn't know, I'm I'm not I don't identify as a Christian. I mean, I, I was raised a Christian, but I'm an atheist now. I'm not. I don't have a particular stake in any of this information personally. But I think the crucifixion of Jesus is one of the, is probably the best attested one of the best t attested events of his life. So did you guys did you just did you guys hear what he just said? He said he's an atheist. He doesn't have a stake in it, stake uh, an emotional stake in it. So what that means is, if Ehrman is an atheist, he doesn't believe in God, and he doesn't believe that God could have kept Jesus alive throughout the crucifixion because he doesn't believe in God to begin with. He doesn't believe in the supernatural. He doesn't believe that you know God kept Jonah alive throughout the whale in the whale. Uh, God helped. Daniel, God split the sea for Moses. He doesn't believe in any of that because he doesn't believe in God. He doesn't believe in the supernatural. Christians believe in God. They believe in the supernatural. So they can't disprove my hypothesis that uh, Jesus survived by the help of, by the supernatural help of God. They can't disprove it. All they can say is that, well, the New Testament says Jesus died, uh, which is true. But who wrote the New Testament? Why should we believe the New Testament? Like, you know, like, why should we believe what it says when we don't know where it came from? You know, like, just look at, look, just, just, I don't know, just do a little bit of, uh, use a little bit of common sense here. Just because the New Testament says Jesus died, that doesn't mean it's true. You need a lot of independent eyewitness testimony to confirm this. And we know that the Gospels of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John were written by anonymous Greek authors living outside of Palestine, uh, which had, which probably had no connection to what the disciples were actually saying. According to Christian scholars themselves, Christian scholars themselves say that the Gospels of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John are anonymous. They're written by anonymous Greek authors, and 
in the second century they put those names mark matthew etc so we have what do we have to prove that jesus died these anonymous documents written decades after the fact that where we can be certain where we can't be certain that they go back to the disciples how can we you know we, we can't be certain of that we know where paul we know that paul was the first one propagating or promoting the death and resurrection of jesus if you read galatians 1 uh he says he didn't get his revelation he didn't get the death of jesus from the disciples but by a revelation uh or see galatians chapter 1 verse 18 to 20. so paul was the first one to come up with the death of jesus so that probably influenced the gospel writers but you know who knows but my point is that the whole point of this video is that Jesus was crucified historically. It's a historical fact that he was crucified. But just because he was crucified doesn't mean he died on the cross. And just because historically Jesus was crucified doesn't disprove the Quran chapter 4 verse 157. Which says they didn't kill him before and they didn't kill him during the crucifixion. So I hope this clarifies my post.